guys, it is Jump Over Dreams. <clears throat> so I am doing a, see, I'm actually getting ready for a show right now. So these like videos all go together because they're like just like different things, like how I prepare and everything. And I might even do how to prepare for a show video. Just depends on what you guys want to do, you know, doesn't really matter to me. So I have, I'm like a pretty big proponent, proponent of like clean tack and things because like it just ruins your tack not to have it clean. So I showed you some new things in my tack haul that I got for clean tack. Hold on. Um, I have Passier Saddle Seaf um, leather cleaner and then my new Be Natural Oil. So these are two new things that go into my tack cleaning bucket. And as far as buckets go, I love um, Fortiflex buckets, like by Dover, not by Dover, but Dover sells them. I'm sure Stateline does too. Like a lot of them do. Like, I love these. This one I think costs like eight bucks, but there's ones on sale for like five. So I would wait for a sale. Let's see, Fortiflex. And um, I don't know why that's in there, but so I have Feebling, Feebing's Four Way Care. It's like leather cleaner. My mom likes me to get this for shows. Because it's really hard to like actually use like bar soap. See, I'll show you in here. It's like, it comes with a sponge, which is nice. But it's like, you know, I mean, it's more time consuming to do that. So, I mean, I bring this because like when we like, because these are overnight shows because we're renters, obviously. So I'd clean my boots and stuff with that. But usually at the show, like for saddles and everything, we use some type of spray thing. So I bought Phoebe's 4 by Leather Conditioner. I actually have not used this yet because last year we just, we just used my trainers. But it's a really big bottle. It only costs like $7. It was a really good deal. I thought I got on Dover. And I would probably recommend this. The only thing is that it says... um. There's something about it. Hold on. May dark and light colored leathers. So I'd be careful. Like if you have a really light bridle or really not light saddle or something and you don't like it's really fancy. You don't want it like darkened. Then I wouldn't use that. So I actually have a new package of these. They're from Dover. They're like this 12 bucks of sponges. They're like four bucks. I always buy sponges at Dover because you cannot find a better deal. Like honestly at our local tax store they cost $10 for 12. I'm like no. So I actually only have one right now, but the other pack is downstairs in my basement. So, um, I mean, I, whoa, I have sponges. I love these things. I mean, they don't last super long just cause when, you know, it's gonna get gross and then I throw them away. But I mean, they're really nice sponges. I would totally recommend that. Um, my next thing is Lexol leather conditioner wipes. I don't have the leather cleaner ones just cause I don't, I don't know. I bought these at one of my local tax stores and I like them. Like I've used them. They don't smell very good. But, um, they're helpful. I think they were like 10 to $12. So they weren't exactly like an amazing deal, but I mean, they weren't bad. The only thing is, is I clean my leather with some of these. I honestly just didn't think it looked very clean. It looked clean when I did it. And then actually it didn't look very clean. So, I mean, in a pinch, these are good, but I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say you need these. I don't know. I don't know if I'd replenish them to be honest. Um, then I have Lexol Leather Cleaner, which is like a one of like the push out things. So, I mean, this is helpful too. I haven't used this either. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a personal huge fan of like liquid ones. I like bars, but my mom likes the other ones, so we both have these. Um, and it says this can like. This isn't supposed to be used on super soft leathers, so I don't really use this. Uh, I, I could use this on my boots, but not. I'm not going to use this on my CWB because I'm like, eh, no. But it looks pretty nice. I don't know. I haven't used it, but we uh, Lexa products are generally pretty good, you know? So this is Phoebe's Saddle. So Phoebe's is an okay run. It, my favorite is Pessier, though, for tack cleaner. This is like a travel on-the-go thing, and I personally think it is so cute. Like, it's so cute. And their saddle soap is good. It smells like oranges. I like it. Um, whenever I run out of Pessier, I just use it. This is my Pasir Leather Balsam. Oh, sorry. I've been forgetting how to say how much stuff is. Um, this, I think, was like 4 or $5. And then this, I think, was probably like 8 But I bought these at my local tax store, so you guys might depend where you buy it. Um, this is Pasir Leather. Ah, whoops. Whoa. Pasir Leather Balsam. Um, 
it's a really nice conditioner. It smells amazing. It's kind of hard to get the lid off. It comes with a lot, but it's really expensive. Like it costs like $19 on Dover, but I think it's worth it. Like I would buy it. It conditions your leather so nicely. It's just great. Next, I have a little cup that I use for my oil to heat it up because the oil I had, I don't think this is true for this one, but um, yeah, it isn't. But my old one needed to be heated up, so I would pour it in here and then heat it. And this, goodness, I can all one stuff. This probably costs like, I don't know, I think we bought it in packs, so probably like one buck. I don't know. I mean, it's just plastic. This is my old oil. It's Phoebings and it's foot oil. I know it looks really gross. I'm sorry. Um, and I think it was like ten dollars. It is. It's really good. I would recommend this. I don't know if you can still buy it. I haven't seen it in a while, but it is great. And but you do have to heat it up, so it's kind of in the butt of the barn. But you know. And also, my last thing is Phoebings saddle soap. It's just the same exact thing as this. It's just a bigger thing. So I'm almost out of it. This is actually, I'm probably no. Stop. Um, I'm probably not going to buy another one. I'll probably just buy a new travel one because I don't know. This is okay. I mean, but I do prefer Pessier. So yeah. And then I obviously have my bucket here that I carry it to. I'm kind of a weird show person. Like, I like to bring a lot of stuff to shows. I don't know why, but I just bring all my tech stuff. And I have a lot of tech cleaner. I'm kind of crazy when it comes to tech cleaner. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this. I hope it's giving you some great ideas. Thanks. Bye.